Hi guys, and welcome back to part two of infusing. This is what your pump will look like when it's empty, completely done. It's like a insect, an insect as opposed to a Christmas ball. What you do is you turn it off from here, turn it off from here, um, and then we are going to untwist, sanitize with alcohol, 15 seconds. I made it originally, I made a part two, um, the second half of Sash, which is S-A-S-H. But I really didn't know what I was doing, so most of what I told you was not right. Not most of it, just some of it is not worth fixing. I just redo it. Okay, so you can prep your syringes before. I didn't, so I could show you. This is your saline solution. So we're doing the second half of Sash. So first half is saline antibiotic, then saline heparin. Saline heparin. The blue one. Okay. So how's that done? Air bubbles at the bottom. I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to bang them out. Okay, squeeze it until it comes out the top a little bit. <laughs> totally normal. Okay, so I have it all the way to the top. It's ready to go. There's no air in here. As you can see, no air bubbles. No air bubbles, see? Okay, this hasn't touched anything yet. It's just alcohol. I haven't let it touch anything. Also, I washed my hands before I did this, obviously. Okay, so now I can open this bell. If I can open this, okay. Pop open this valve. Infuse. With this one, you're going to do a pump. So I do about three notches at a time. So I just did three. Going to do a few more. If this process bothers you, you can go slower. It's not a race. Just do whatever you need to do. For the whole time, check for air bubbles. And I'm going to go up to past one. There's one notch past one. The top ring can touch that. So if you look, can you even see that? No. So the top black ring is touching this very, very top black line right there above my finger. See that top line? The top ring is touching that. Okay, so that's good. I'm just done. I'm gonna close this off and I make sure I keep moving it because if you keep clipping in the same spot, it makes a little dent in it and then uh, it can easily break. Okay. So, alcohol again. 15 seconds. The last video, I couldn't get any of the air bubbles out. It was like such a mess. <laughs> Whatever. So I got slightly better at this now that it's been, it's my first full week. I think I recorded that other one like the first day I learned. Also, I get really bloated from it. So if you see my videos and you're like, what's happening to her? It like blows me up. I look like I gain weight. But, um, I mean, maybe I have, I don't know, I don't need to check. Okay, 15 seconds of this. Gonna do the same with the heparin.
Heparin is a little harder for me. It's harder to squeeze. Always comes flying out. Okay. Yep, we're good. It's coming at the top. See? And there's no holes. And the air bubbles. No air bubbles. Again, don't touch your cell phones during any of this. Okay, it's in. Open. Press. This one takes two pumps. You, you might be able to just push it on through, but um, my nurse taught me this way, so I don't mess with that. And again, we're going to go up to that top line. The top rubber ridge is going to touch that top line. Don't push it. Don't overdo it. Got to close this. And we are done. Let me show you. Wow, this is a disaster. Let me show you what I do when I'm done. I wipe it with the alcohol swab just to get all the weird crap off of it. The heparin, saline, whatever is on there. Um, you can use a compression. I have a lot of circulation issues, so the compression sleeve actually makes it, actually hurts me. <laughs> like, I wake up in pain from it, so I don't do that anymore. Um, I just swivel mine around and paste it. I wanted to show you guys what the nurse did to me. She really jacked me up. Can you see that? That's not normal. Your arm should not look like this. Yeah, your arm should not look like that. If your nurse does that to you, or your whatever that lady was, PA, physician's assistant, that sucks, because this sucked. But that's how you infuse. That's the second half of SASH with the pump for Rosethin, or Lyme protocol for Dr. Learner.